Hi, I'm going to play the strings on the Yamaha PSR SX700 so you can have a really good listen to them. Um, first of all, from the home screen here, very easy to navigate to the strings. Um, we just either press the strings button up there or if you like to do things via the touch screen, we go into the strings category. And we've got all of these strings here, loads of variations that Yamaha have built on over the years. Um, and I'm going to start off with the Seattle strings. Seattle Classical. option we've got here is concert strings. Uh, concert strings are a little bit softer, uh, the attack isn't so high. Uh, studio strings, let's try those. Uh, again, a little bit softer. There's a little bit more definition with the individual notes that I play. The next one is Seattle Warm. So it feels to me like the treble range on the Seattle Warm is just bringing out the warmth a little bit. So those are the big orchestras that we've got on SX700. We then go into the, the single instruments like violin. So a lot of um, definition in the single notes there. Very sharp sounding uh, viola. Hello. So uh, individual sound there, of course, for the cello. Uh, it sounds within a, an accompaniment much nicer than just on its own, of course. Contra contrabass. Orchestral harp. Actually, orchestral harp is a really nice voice on this particular keyboard. Uh, just the right amount of uh, echo in there, and you can really just imagine the strings being plucked.
nice. And then when we go on to page two, we're presented with a whole load of extra ensemble voices, starting off with ballad strings. And I've got to tell you, from the first depression of the notes, the attack is totally different on this one. And that in itself, uh, I'll get on with the playing in a minute, but I can tell you from a player's perspective, it really inspires a different kind of approach to the note. There are so many different types of um, configuration and setup of strings on this keyboard that it does inspire you as a player to use them in different ways. Uh, let's try the next one Seattle Lush Strings. And they really do sound lush, don't they? This brings to mind things like John Cage uh, music, uh, John Cage soundtracks, John Williams soundtracks. Uh, very rich, uh, lush is just the right word, isn't it? And then we get into the, the variations like Seattle Tremolo, which is going to be a slightly shaky, nervous sounding string. to have those unusual ones in there like that because they can really uh, really sort of change the feel of a piece of music or a composition that you're doing. Um, Seattle uh, Spiccato, let's try this one. Very punchy percussive type strings, good for individual notes. playing strings there but great to have those options on there. Uh, pizzicato strings are the similar sort of thing. Always like you're tiptoeing around the house uh, in the middle of the night. This, that's what I always think of with this instrument. those variations in there. Um, this is a really useful one uh, that I've used in a previous video. It's called Seattle Slow Strings. And so this is giving us our main Seattle Symphony Orchestra, which is this beautifully sampled string setting on here. But it says slow, so the attack is just delayed slightly. It's a good one to use when you're playing with a different instrument like a piano. Listen to the difference. It's not so instant, the attack.
uh, over the years, Yamaha have learned to give the players what they want. And through the iterations of the S-series keyboards and the flagship Genoses, the strings have kept on improving uh, every single time. And the addition of the slow ones, slow versions of the main quality string sounds is a really good addition. Um, so what's next? Strings pad. This will be the string sound with some sort of um, synth pad on there as well. Let's try this out. So it sounds like there's a slightly, uh, slightly wavery synth pad underneath it. Um, it, definitely giving it a sort of 80s effect, which I like actually. Strings pad, movie strings. Theater strings. where the middle range sounds a little fuller as well. So it, you've got to think that you're not just using strings on their own often. Often they'll be part of an accompaniment or they'll be playing as a layer with another voice. And it's great to have these variations that will cut through the mix of voices together. Um, spiccato. <laughs> Another good one that will be part of a mix of voices in there. Uh, to page three, we then get <clears throat> loads of orchestral ones. Do you hear that? We get the timpani drum in there too. On the left hand side of the keyboard. dramatic string sounds there with the old timpani drum as well to give it an extra boost. Uh, pizzicato and glockenspiel, uh, a good combination I should think. inspiring you to try something new, to compose something if you're that way inclined. Theater orchestra. And that's a good combination of um, what sounds like a triangle playing and a whole orchestra of a theater playing uh, in unison. Let's try it. And it sounds like there's even things like oboes in there as well. Quite a different style of orchestra. So that's kind of, that's an interesting way of playing using strings as if you were playing in a um, uh, André Roux style orchestra. Symphonic unison. So with this one we can hear, um, like a symphony orchestra, lots of brass in there as well. Strings F, F, Z. 
I don't know what this does. Let's just try it out and see what happens. Ah, so very, very uh, quick, stabby notes. If I hold it down, let's see what happens. So it feels like there's a pause. The strings are being attacked quickly, uh, and then there's a pause, but then they build up again. So this gives a different effect on the strings. variation inspires all sorts of different ideas in your mind if you're a creative type. Uh, disco strings. So that's going to be for little riffs during disco music I should think. But there's that quick slide off uh, and the note just drops. Uh, another variation of it too. Synth strings. Again, it's going to have that sort of wavery 1980s feel to it. Synth strings too, a variation. Let's try Ober strings. This is a really full 80s synth string uh, selection. This would be great in a combination uh, with other synths as well, and mixing together a really big fat sounding uh, string sound for a, an 80s soundtrack or something. thing about having synths in there as well is when you hold the note down the sound swells up and you often get a different effect a little bit after you've played. Okay going on to page four we go into the individual um, instruments like banjo, banjo two, Zither, okay so I'm not going to go too far into these ones because really I just wanted to show you the main orchestral string sounds on the PSR SX700 from Yamaha so hope that was enjoyable for you it's always good to explore the depths of these keyboards but any questions you've got leave them in the comments section below um, and I'll include them in an upcoming video for you I um, hope that was fun. Thanks for joining me. See you in the next one. Bye.